just going to show you how, I mean, how you can uh, uh, make uh, potato curry without, without using oil. So I'm, um, so as, as you can see, like there, <laughs> there is literally no oil. So I'm starting with the tempering because in India, in Indian dishes, everything starts with tempering. So, so Shobha is right now making the, uh, the stuffing for the dosa. This is the, called the masala. So once we are done, you'll see the masala dosa. This is a stuffing that goes for the dosa. Actually, the spices uh, themselves contain some oil in it, right? So uh, no, the spices don't contain. So because I'm using mustard, mustard seeds. Yeah, no, no. See, they, they, they contain small amount of trace yes. amount of fat within. You know, if you're talking different to that, like some of them, they have like a trace amount of fat. Yeah, one of the questions that comes up is, oh, if our if you don't eat oil, doesn't our joints need lubricants? <laughs> People <laughs> think like, you know, if you don't use oil, you're gonna become stiff and all. No, actually, you know, our body can make all the synovial fluid for the joints to be smooth. Uh, you will actually, your joints will like work better because you have less information in the joints. So now I'm going to add onions. So far, the, the tempering has been done and the next thing is onions, yeah. See, what happens is uh, when you add uh, onions and the vegetables, there is the water within these onions and vegetables that will also help uh, for it to not stick. Uh, in the beginning, when people are starting out, and let's say if it sticks, right, when the, at this part, you could like you know keep stirring it, or you can use uh, one or two uh, spoons of uh, water. So I'm adding uh, ginger, and uh, you can also add the uh, green chili, but um, I don't use much spice, uh, so I'm not adding the uh, green chili, but I'm just. Uh, yeah, you can add one, or, you know, depending upon the, the hardness you like, you can add one or two chilies. So sometimes you think, okay, to fry the onions, I need oil. But as you can see, like without oil, you can, the onions are getting brown. And to this, uh, I'm adding tomatoes. And then to this, uh, you can add salt, turmeric, and your uh, salas. I think uh, you know most uh, people who know how to cook, this is a very easy transition because if you know how to cook, all it changes is like you could, you just skip the oil in the first step. Wouldn't you say, Madhavi, like when that's, like you can keep making your own recipes or the curries, whatever you do. It's just you skip that first first step of adding oil. Yeah, even without oil, you can see like how it is, uh, you know, getting cooked in that. Yeah. So I'm just going to add salt. Turmeric. Yes. So I'm adding the chili powder. We have this recipe, right, for the masala stuff. Yeah. Yeah. When you're doing this, you can just uh, tell something about the benefits of all these spices, uh, Shobha. Like yeah. each one so, benefit, yeah. right? So, so far, like I added uh, turmeric, uh, yeah. uh, chili powder, I'm uh, adding a little bit of uh, cumin powder. 
So yes. these are, these are especially turmeric. There are over five thousand yes. studies, over five thousand studies on anti-inflammatory effects and benefits okay, of uh, uh, using yes. turmeric. I think that's the most most widely published spice. Uh, yes. uh, and the cumin is also so uh, anti-inflammatory. Ginger decreases inflammation. Um, one more thing uh, for especially your patients, Madhvi, like PCOS. Um, like flax seeds. Flax seeds are rich in uh, uh, lignans, and uh, lignans actually bind uh, um, the the receptors that promote aging, and they they decrease inflammation. And th th there is research, published research, showing that women who take flax seeds, flax seed powder, they have they have uh, uh, improved uh, clinical um, uh, findings with the, even if they had PCOS. So now I'm adding uh, this mashed potato. So this potato is nothing but like uh, we took the whole potato, we steamed it and mashed it. And uh, flax seeds, some people, they consume it uh, as a whole flax seed, but uh, so many studies show that that flax seeds must be powdered before they consume that. Is it correct? Yeah. Yeah. It's not that it's a must, but it increases the bioavailability when you, when you grind it into uh, like a, a powder, flax seed powder. Uh, it increases the bioavailability because the flax seeds themselves, they are hard to digest. So, yeah, yeah and uh, one more tip is uh, whenever you make flax seed powder, uh, it's better to make put that uh, flax, flax seed powder in the fridge because outside it can go bad or rancid, change, get some smell. Flax seeds, you can just store them outside the fridge, but once you make it into a powder, just uh, put it in the fridge. Okay, okay. And flax is also rich in phytoestrogens. So that's what I have read somewhere. The, there is an article about that. Yes, flax seeds are rich in. Uh, they, see, the, the, the most amazing compounds, <laughs> uh, phytochemicals, these are called lignin. There are like so many research studies on uh, lignans, how they decrease the risk of uh, breast cysts, uh, like they, they decrease the risk of breast cancer, and uh, even uh, this. Uh, um, Acne and uh, hirsutism and uh, PCOS features as well. So it's done, Shiva, masala? Yeah, yeah. so as, as you can see, uh, the masala dosa is done. You mean the masala? The... I mean, sorry, the masala, I, I mean, the potato uh, stuffing Stuffing for the dosa is done. And and as, as you can see, it's like not much has stuck to the pan. And it's easy to clean the pan after... Uh, uh, when you do your dishes as well, right? So it's so so easy to... Yeah, <laughs> you know, sometimes you can even just clean with water. Like if you're not using oil, you don't need because... all this like fancy detergents to clean your dishes. Yeah. So now let's... Uh... So Shubha, for one step that when they use their potatoes, right? Like we, we basically steam them and mash them. Yeah. But if the people don't know how to steam, they can even boil the potatoes, right? Yes. Boil the potatoes and then just mash them. Mm -hmm. Yeah.